Hey, what's going on guys? Today, uh, this is the unboxing of my brand new 2016 X19, 110 cc, brand new from the one and only Venom Motorsports. Now, something I wanted to make clear is, whenever you guys get a brand new bike, always check the oil. Make sure there's oil inside before you start the bike. Also, I would recommend you changing the oil, but it's totally up to you. Me, I always change my oil, and I explain that later on. Also, if you guys from a cold start when the bike hasn't been started for a while there's you, there's the choke and I show where the choke is in the video so you open that up then start the bike once the bike is started and running go ahead and close the choke and you can ride the bike never ride with the choke open okay so I'm also gonna be doing an unboxing video of the actual bike I'm giving away this video you're about to see is not the bike I'm gonna give away I have an unboxing of the bike that I'm gonna be giving away which is right here so if you want to see that video then go watch that video that should be up right about now all right guys so the bike you're gonna see right now in this video is my bike and the bike that I'm gonna be giving away is right here and we're gonna open that up because so many people have been asking to see the bike so anyways that's it enjoy the video all right guys if you haven't entered the giveaway or you don't know what giveaway I'm talking about watch my giveaway video and enter that contest it ends July 2nd and I'm gonna announce the winner then all right, guys. All right, you guys, this is my 2016 X19 straight from Venom Motorsports. As you see, the information right there on the box, VM Venom Motorsports. You wanna know where I buy my bikes? How much do they cost? Where do I get them? Go right to the website, venommotorsportscanada.com. Boom! They ship to the uh, Canada, to the States. It's all good. Free shipping, there's their number right there you want to go ahead and call them all right so what color did I get which one did I get let's find out what's your guess what's your guess look haven't even unwrapped it got it here just so I can show you guys let's check it out still got the plastic okay so there What color? What's the color? What's the color? Of course. We had to get blue, the blue B.O. All good, ready to go. Now you guys know, you gotta go around here with a ratchet and go ahead and remove all the bolts off the cage. The easiest way is to do the ones at the bottom all the way around, then you just go ahead, lift up on the cage and it's out of the cage, good to go. So it's brand new. Now you guys know, the setup was a little bit more involved on my 2015 on my red X19, but on this one, Venom Motorsports takes care of all of it. The only thing you got to do is put on the front fascia and connect the battery. So I'll show you that real quick, no big deal. It's a brand new 2016, I'm going to show you what's new on this bike. Then later on, I'm going to do a comparison video between the X19, 2016, then the 2015 X19 and then my X18 all in a row, all of them there. So anyways, yeah, it's here, ready to go, nice and shiny. Woo! So if you guys remember before, there was a little more of the setup. You know, you had to put on the spring, do all that stuff. Well, Venom Motorsports listens to the people and they went ahead and took care of a lot of the setup. So we don't have to worry about any of that. So like I said, just the front fascia is gonna go on and connecting the battery, I'll show you that. But you got to go around here. Now I'm going to skip this process in the video, edit that out. Oh, you're wondering why I got the blue. Okay, so check this out. I originally had a, the special edition, I don't know if you guys seen, on VenomMotorsportCanada.com on their website. They have a 125cc X19 special, a Rep, Repsol special edition. Now I had one of those, it came, and this is also why the video took so long. But I talked to Moose and he said those sold out so quick that there was even somebody that had ordered one and he had already sold out. So I shipped mine back to Venom so that one person could get theirs and I said I'll just take a blue one which is all good. So yeah, there is a special edition. He's supposed to have more in stock maybe a couple of months from now. Call him and ask when he'll have them. That way he knows who exactly wants them. But yeah, 2000. 16 special edition Repsol edition because this is 110 cc's 
and that one is 125 go ahead and check it out it's a little bit more money but hey you get that extra power and it's a special edition very very limited but he's got the blues the blacks the red he's got them in stock look on his website ready to go okay so let's go so yeah like i said you're just going to get your 14 millimeter ratchet right here and go ahead and get busy so i'm only going to take out the ones all on the bottom here like this go all the way around and lift right up off the cage and then that's it don't forget, get some uh, wire cutters or something. You can untwist these, but I have some wire cutters. Boom! I'm just going to go ahead and cut the wire ties off. All right, the guys. one and only, guys, VenomMotorsportsCanada.com. Go to that website. Go to that number if you guys want one of these bikes. Any uh, information questions, go there. I want you to see this really quick. The last two bolts you got to take off are these two. Those are also holding in the frame which is keeping your bike from getting damaged during shipping so you want to go ahead and take those two bolts out and hang on to those because you're going to need those to put on the digital display all right just wanted you guys to see that real quick so after you remove those two bolts that were uh holding in the metal frame as well on the bike go ahead and put down the kickstand put down the kickstand on the other side there let me try and get over there right there put down the kickstand that way when you take the frame off the bike doesn't fall over on you so yeah i just wanted you to see that okay so once you have it out of the pack packaging and the frames off it's gonna look like this and then yeah just go ahead cut this off have your paperwork all right and the rest of this is just bubble wrap you know you can go ahead and take this off like I said, the like I said, a lot of the stuff is already done for you. Also, if you look here, the 2016s on the old one, on my 2015, all this is glossy, but this is like a, bl a matte black here. Kind of cool, but don't worry, guys. I'll get it close. Also, on the 2015, the pipe here is actually black. This is all chrome. It's nice. So I'm just gonna go around, cut all this off, just unwrap the bubble wrap. And uh, this one here is a semi-automatic. Both my other bikes, both my other bikes, those are uh, manual transmission. And then I got this blue one here. And I got it in a semi-automatic because some people wanted to know how the semi-automatics work. Kind of works like a paddle shifters on a, in a car. How if you're going and you're just driving and you just click up to the next gear, click up to the next gear. Same thing here. You're just going to work it with your foot. So there's no clutch. You just give it gas and you just... Work it with your foot, whatever gear you want to go in, just go ahead and move it. So you're in one, click it again, two, click it again, three, so on and so forth. So my wife will ride this one. This will be a little easier for her to ride. And then I'll go ahead and ride my other manual transmissions one. So I got this one so I could show you guys the semi-automatic and on top of that. So it'll be a little easier for my wife to ride one as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, cut this off. Normally, I would just get another manual transmission, but I had a lot of people requesting how the semi-automatics work, so I got one for you, so I can go ahead and show you. All right. Okay. So here's the front fascia that you have to put on, and that's only held on by a couple of bolts here. Not that big of a deal. And then right here is your new digital display. And also your key start and like I said those bolts that I said hang on to are right here and we'll go ahead and just mount that on and that'll go on really easy like so okay now wrapped it under the seat but it's nice they didn't bolt it for us so we could just get it off now the now the reason why they didn't bolt it on right away is because we got to come under here and we got to attach the battery so we're going to go ahead and connect the battery and like i said uh if you want a more detailed setup go to my 2015 unboxing and setup but this one's a lot easier they've taken all the hard work out of it so we're just going to go ahead and connect the battery here, put on the front nose, the front mask, and we're rocking and rolling. We're good to go. 
and go ahead and tighten this up here. Switch that around on my ratchet. Get that nice and snug and tight. You don't want that coming loose while you're riding. Also, I would say in general, you guys, go around the bike. Double check everything, make sure everything's tight. You know, this is being shipped all the way to you, so things can get rattled around and stuff like that. So please go around the bike and make sure everything's tight and is fitted and how it's supposed to be. All right, make sure you have a helmet. You know, you guys, safety first. I always tell you that. So with a 10 millimeter, go ahead and tighten that down and your display should be there to go. Now, you remember before, on the 2015, this battery was loose. Venom has already taken care of that. They've secured it so the battery is not moving around. So we'll take these, we'll attach them here, and they give you the supply uh, hardware that you need to mount those right on top of this little bag. So, let's go ahead and do that really quick. Go ahead and fit this through here. And then that way, we put this on. Place your finger there. That way it doesn't fall. Alright, for those of you guys that are younger, have a parent help you out. Simple to do. And then tighten it in. Voila. And you're going to do the same thing on the side with the positive. And we'll go ahead and tighten this in there. Boom, now the battery's connected. Wire tie here, hold the brake lever. No big deal. And look, here are your keys. Hanging right here on the zip tie, this off. There we go. Here are your keys for the bike. Now, and you know, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the handlebars. So, put them where you like them, no big deal. Adjust everything. To where you may want it and then go ahead and tighten it down so sit on the bike make sure the handlebars are where you want it and also tighten down your brake lever if you buy a manual transmission you'll have your clutch lever on this side and you'll go ahead and tighten that down as well like i said this is a semi-automatic and i bought this so i could show those that wanted to know how to ride a semi-automatic but it's a lot easier than a manual transmission although i believe a manual is a lot more fun and it gives you more control and more speed in the gear that you're in Here's where the oil goes, and here's your dipstick. So please double check the oil, and yeah, double check the oil first. Don't forget they have your mirrors, don't forget those guys. Okay, Venom was nice enough to include some extra parts for you. Extra fuel filter, where's the bag? Uh, extra spark plug, you know, parts here, uh, extra bolts, screws in case you're missing any, in case you don't have the tools to tighten everything up when you go around it. I mean, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. So I said, the front mask, all we're going to do is just put on the plastic front windshield right here. And it's only two bolts that hold on the front nose in the front of the bike. And then that's it. Alright, so we got the plastic guard on here put on. And there's two bolts here, one here, and then one on the other side. Go ahead and take those out. And then you also got two right here that are going to mount onto the frame of the bike. I'm going to attach... To two holes lined up on the inside to the two holes right in there. Get that in there. And here, go ahead and tighten that up. And you're good to go. There's one plug to plug in for the headlight. And uh, you'll see a three prong plug matching it 
right in the front of the bike here. There's only one place it can go, okay, and, and that's can't it. Put it in wrong. Boom! Installation complete. So, let's go ahead and check the oil. Oh, also, for those of you that have, they will also include some nice mirrors for you. If you wonder where the mirrors go, they go on right here. So if you want to put them on, it's very easy. It comes with the bolt that goes under. Stick it in right here on the bike, and then same thing on the other side. Take this one all the way off, stick it through, then put this on to tighten it up, and you will now have very cool, stylish mirrors on your bike. And it's also good for safety. So you guys, please go ahead, put them on, ride with them. They would recommend you change the oil, you know, because it's been sitting in here a little while. So let's go ahead and check the oil really quick. See if we have oil in the hash marks. So let's go ahead and pop this back in. And I have a how to change oil video. So if you guys want to know how to change the oil, go ahead and uh, watch that video. But there's a bolt directly under here. You loosen that, the oil will drain, and you add the oil right here. I also have a video on how to change the spark plug, all that good stuff. So as you see, it's kind of glossy. I have oil in the car. I'll probably change it, which I recommend you do. And let me show you the oil. Go ahead and grab some uh, motorcycle oil from your local automotive store. This is what I have, this is what I use. And uh, yeah, it's four four-stroke motors. And this is, uh, this is what I use, 1040. And it's only going to take about three-fourths to fill it up. So... Double check that dipstick. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, it looks like we're all gravy. Now the only thing left to do now is just go ahead and put on the seat. And as you can see, I still have the plastic on my seat. Haven't put it, haven't taken it off. Not really concerned with that right now. And the only way the seat goes on is if you look under here, there is a hole for a screw. And that screw will go right at the end, right in here. So you go ahead, put it in, put the bike on like so, take your screw, screw it in on the seat, and you're good to go. And the two bolts that are in the tool bag here, boom! Right there, you go ahead, screw them in, right where, right where the bike lines up, and you screw it in right on the side, right there. One there, one on the other side, and you're golden. Alright, so the setup's complete, everything's done. The only thing I'm gonna do is just add some fuel inside of here. Okay, take this out. If you want to know what type of gas I'm using, 91 octane. Okay, so that's done. Complete, set up. Now I'll just show you what's new on the bike. And uh, yeah, that's it, you're all good. So this is the 2016 X19 from Venom Motorsports. And uh, yeah, as you notice right off the bat, the forks are lower in the front. Venom went ahead and did that and lowered it for everybody. The tailpipes here looks like, looks like they're chrome in the back. They come with LED turn signals, which was nice of them. This is like a matte finish instead of a glossy. Now, if you guys want to see a side-by-side -side comparison between the 2016 and the 2015, watch my other video for that. I'm going to upload one of those. You also get a digital display. Yeah, and the digital dash will tell you what gear you're in, headlights on, your speed. You have a fuel gauge, and I think you also have a battery meter. But yeah, it's all there, ready to go, pretty cool. And it looks like it also has a daytime running light as well as the brighter headlight. But I know people were, have been wanting this for a while, a fuel gauge, so they could see how much fuel they had left in the bike while they were riding. And a speedometer. Now if you look, it is in uh, kilometers. You gotta remember these bikes come from Canada and they base off kilometers up there. But if you want one that says miles per hour, you go ahead and email Venom. And uh, I think it's a little bit more money, and they'll go ahead and change that out for you, or send you one. And, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Bike's ready to go. Alright, and like I said, guys, go around the bike first. Make sure everything's nice and tight. 
don't just hop on it and start riding. You want to double check everything. And brakes here. Your rear brake. Oh, it looks like the rear brake works when you step on it. On the 2015, it doesn't do that. It only would come on when you press the front brake. And like I said, this is a semi-automatic, so I have no clutch over here. But my 2015 is manual. And so is my X8. And uh, also, you guys, this right here is your choke. On the 2015, the choke is located inside, and you have to flip a lever up to start it from a cold start when it's been sitting for a long time. But it was nice enough for them to put it here, and you know the choke. So you turn it all the way up, start the bike. It's a lot easier to start. Once it's running, warmed up, and before you take off, go ahead and switch it all the way down, and then you can go ahead and ride out. So your new choke is here. It's actually nice that they put it there. All right. So you guys, as you can see, the difference is but I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison video between the 2015 and 2016. But I just wanted you guys to see the brand new 2016 from Venom Motorsports. Okay. Like I said, LED turn signals already included. So it already comes with a bunch of upgrades for the same price as the 2015s. Alright guys, so that's it. That's the unboxing. That's the new bike I got. That's the new 2016. This is all thanks to VenomMotorsportsCanada.com. That's where I get all my bikes and that's where you should too. And uh, yeah, what's up Moose? Thanks everybody. And uh, enter in the contest if you haven't. Check out my other videos. I'm uploading some more stuff and that's it guys. All ready to go. I'm going to go for a quick ride. Got riding videos. Got side-by-side -side comparison videos. Got a whole bunch more coming up. And enter the contest. Alright, guys. Alright, you guys. No. So the bike's done. It's all set up. The choke is right here. So from a cold start, turn this all the way up. Turn the key, and let's see if it starts up. This is the first start, so it might take me a minute. Right, Once the bike is running and it's warmed up, we can go ahead and put the choke down. Alright guys, check out the other videos, and when I do a riding video, I'll post that, and you can check that out too.